Hello everyone. Um, in this uh, tutorial, um, we'll see how um, you can uh, download the brand new uh, Microsoft um, uh, Landis Land Cover data, uh, which is a 10 meter uh, spatial resolution uh, developed using um, artificial intelligence, AI, and uh, Sentinel satellite uh, data. So Microsoft has uh, released uh, new data, uh, which is uh, partnered by um, um, Istri and uh, Microsoft, uh, and and also the um, Impact Observatory um, um, in Institute, uh, which implemented artificial intelligence or AI uh, land cover classification model uh, using you know billions of um, you know pixels um, to develop this global level. Um, uh, land use land cover map, which is uh, so far the highest uh, special resolution uh, for uh, year 2020. So this is the most uh, you know detailed maps this far. Um, so uh, you know which um, which is processed using uh, Sentinel um, data, uh, satellite um, optical uh, bands from the Sentinel. Um, um, satellite uh, which is using only the 10 meter uh, you know bands of the sentinel sensor and um, and also this uh, project uh, utilized the the new um, you know Microsoft um, AI for Earth uh, program which is uh, typically if you know Google Earth engine uh, which is the new um, competitor of a Google Earth engine um, you know platform so AI for Earth is a uh, kind of a Google Earth Engine um, cloud-based uh, planetary data analysis platform, uh, which is free for research. Um, and you have to request access um, to, to, to um, you know, to access the platform uh, to use their um, AI uh, cloud-based um, platform. So, um, you know, uh, so this data uh, is accessible um, for you uh, to, you know, it, it's publicly available. Uh, you know, one way to download it is is that to use the, um, Erzing, uh, the sorry, the um, E3 um, Living Atlas, uh, the ArcGIS.com platform, and you can you can manually um, access, you know, download that data. But in this tutorial, what I'll show you is, you know, to access this same data using, you know, Google Earth Engine. Let's get started. So I uh, have already um, written a script that does that. Um, so the first thing is I'll import, um, it's already on, on uh, Google Earth Engine um, uh, platform. So you can use this, um, you know, image collection ID uh, to, get, to get the uh, micro, um, to the E3 um, global uh, 10 meter uh, resolution data. And once you have that, the next thing is, since it's a global data, if you want to download it for a specific country, what you need is just you need to import uh, countries database, um, administrative boundaries, um, and next, um, you know, you'll subset for a specific country uh, of your interest. In this case, I'll be using Uganda. Um, so I'll be using, you know, this to subset my, um, my, um, you know my land cover export so before i export i need to uh subset for a certain country and um then i'll just uh, define some visualization parameters so i'll create a dictionary here so this dictionary contains um, um you know uh names um of the land use land cover classes as you can see the dictionary is dict and a curly bracket and then I'll define two parameters here. Uh, the first one is name, and the second one is colors. So I'll store, um, you know, all of my elements uh, or parameters in that dictionary, uh, in that uh, as a list. So I'll create a list of, you know, texts which contains the names, and also the colors uh, which contains uh, different colors corresponding to this, um, you know, um, land cover classes. So anytime I want to apply, you know land cover classes and colors I don't have to you know type in again I just can call this names or you know colors from my dictionary okay 
And then next uh, is to, since I want to visualize this on the, you know, map canvas down below, I just want to create, a, you know, a panel, um, uh, you know, a panel from my legend, okay? And then here's the function that does um, generate the, um, the legend, um, the legend. And also here, I'll create some some of my my styles of this legend. It's a little bit longer part of the script, but but you know that's what I'm doing here. And I actually need to complete all of this. Um, you don't have to memorize all of this. So this will create a, a nice looking you know legend um, on the um, on the left um, on the left side of the the panel. And then finally. Um, what what I need to do is actually to display the um, um, actually let's first display the the global data and then we'll uh, subset it to a country data. So um, and then this is again uh, the um, we have a legend and also we're adding a dictionary. A dictionary is. Uh, you know the name and the colors for each of the land covers and also the name of the, the legend so you'll see um, down below the the legend with the colors and the title that's what we're doing here and lastly um, uh, we can clip the data using our, our origin of interest as you have seen uh, here at the beginning of the tutorial I mentioned uh, clipping you know, um, subsetting a st study area region of interest, in this case, the country boundary for Uganda. So we'll be downloading land cover, uh, Israel land cover data for, for Uganda, okay? But before we do that, let's visualize the global data, okay? So I'll apply map add layer and then call the history LLC 2020. I didn't clip it. It's just uh, the, 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 the data, the entire data as it, it's, as, as it is existing. So it's a global data. Let's look at that first and then, um, and then in addition, I'll just define the minimax because I have, you know, this 10, 10 different land cover classes. So I just need to mention that um, to have a pretty good contrast in my visualization. And then the palette uh, in, in the dictionary, I'll just uh, call the, the colors from my dictionary, right? So the color contains the different, you know, uh, color codes for my, my land cover classes. So I'm just calling that. And then I'll give it a name, global is 3 lulc 10 meter. So we can um, execute this code. And so we have, so mind you, I've said uh, we'll have a fancy, um, you know, legend um, in the script. So that's what we have here. So let's just zoom out um, and have a satellite background riser. And, you know, you can see that this is the A3, um, you know, land cover class as I've shown you um, here. Uh, A3 has released, you know, the land cover class, uh, you know, a global level 10 meter resolution. Um, so that's uh, exactly what we are accessing in our engine, the same data set. Um, you know, you can you can you can access it for any country on the planet um, in whether you're in Africa or, you know, North America, South America, Europe or Asia, Australia, you can, you can get it for any country. It's a global data set. And as you can see, you know, to look at the legend here, um, you know, you can see you have water, uh, trees, grass, flooded vegetation, crops scrub a built area and then bare ground some snow or ice and some cloud contamination um and it's 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 pretty it's pretty amazing um uh, that we have a global you know data set at this uh, level and using um artificial intelligence or ai you know the power of ai and cloud computing in this case uh, it's not done in our engine but in in another you know um competitor Microsoft um, uh, AI for us um, and so we, you can I mean you can you can do the same thing uh, using Google Earth Engine uh, AI um, you know Google Cloud uh, AI uh, and you know, machine learning as well as um, you know uh, artificial intelligence on the Google Cloud platform but this project you know is already 
done a fantastic work thus far. Uh, although potentially you can do the same thing on Ars Engine. Um, so uh, so now we can you know, visualize um, on any uh, place on Earth. You have this uh, wonderful data set. As you can see, the, the built area uh, shows some of the urbanized areas um, and you know blue water and then the, the green is forested area. Um, I mean, for example, you can see um, you know the Lake Victoria here, you know the Nile, um, you know, and some some development here, uh, and you can see some of the the Nile Delta uh, in Egypt, some urbanization here, Cairo, cropland activity, and some of the shore. So so now what we need is just to um, clip this 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 data for a certain um, region. So in our example, what we're using is, um, you know, Uganda. So we want to clip it to, um, you know, study region, Uganda. So instead of the entire data, we'll use the clipped version. It's, it's really ULC clip. That, so that's what we did here. We just clipped the data and then the same parameter, uh, all the color and everything except, uh, you know, the title. In this case, this is Uganda. So I'll just execute that. Um, instead of the, the global data, I'll just uh, uncheck the global data and rather I'll just zoom into the uh, clipped version of my land cover data. Now, instead of a global data, I have a subset um, for my study region, in this case, Uganda, okay? You can see, um, you know, this is Uganda. You can have the, the satellite um, image. Um, so now the next uh, part is to actually export this data on your Google Drive, okay? So we have this function that does export. Um, so you can export that. Uh, let me just save this. Um, so to export that, you apply export image to Drive. And then image here, you define the clipped version Israeli LC clip. Mind you have to make sure that you do the clipped version. Otherwise, if you try to export the entire global data, it's too much. So don't attempt uh, to export it um, before clipping. You need to clip it for a smaller region or area. Okay, that's one one not. And then just uh, the the title of the 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 land cover data. In this case, I'll call it history LULC Uganda. And uh, you need uh, to define the spatial resolution. In this case, it's a 10 meter uh, data. So we need to specify 10. And region of interest is uh, the subset, uh, uh, you know, the subset or study area that you need to define. Uh, in this case, uh, we defined already ROI, region of interest, and max pixel. And you just execute that. Uh, so this will, um, you know, give you some yellow yellow sign in the taskbar, and you can go ahead and, and click that history land cover, and just click run. That will export the history um, 2020 special 10 meter special resolution land cover to your Google Drive, and you can go ahead and check your Google Drive, and you'll find that image and. Once you have that, you can download it from your Google Drive and then visualize that in, in any software that you, you're, you're familiar, be it in a QGIS or ArcGIS or any other um, you know, GIS software to visualize and you know, analyze or use that data further. And that will be how you can download the ISRI 2020 uh, 10 meter special resolution data uh, which is um, you know part uh, done by partnership with uh, ISRI, uh, Microsoft, um, the uh, AI for Earth, uh, um, you know, uh, and that's how you implement that um, data export or download on the Earth Engine platform.